Are you ready for an out-of-this-world experience? Join us on Tech Nation as we uncover the secrets of meteoroids, those mysterious celestial bodies that have fascinated humans for centuries. From their origins in the depths of space to the potential dangers they pose to our planet. But that's not all, because we have some groundbreaking details that will blow your mind. Discover the potential impact of a meteoroid collision and learn about the efforts being made to protect our planet. Trust us, you don't want to miss this. So, buckle up and get ready for an interstellar journey on Tech Nation, where the truth is out there. Meteoroids are typically smaller than a grain of sand and can be as large as a car. They are mostly made up of rock and metal, but can also contain ice. They are formed from debris left over from the formation of our solar system, and can be found in a variety of orbits around the Sun. When a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, it heats up due to friction and can create a bright streak of light, or meteor. If the meteoroid is large enough, and doesn't burn up completely, it can reach the ground as a meteorite. Meteor showers are a common occurrence, and happen when the Earth passes through a stream of debris from a comet or asteroid. These streams are called meteoroid streams, and the most famous one is the Perseids, which peak in August. Meteoroids are produced by a variety of natural processes in our solar system. The most common sources are Comets, as comets orbit the Sun, they release small pieces of ice and dust, which can form a stream of debris called a meteoroid stream. When Earth passes through one of these streams, we can see a meteor shower. Asteroids, asteroids are also a source of meteoroids. When an asteroid is struck by another asteroid, it can break into smaller pieces, which can then become meteoroids. Planetary collisions, collisions between planets or other large bodies in the solar system can also produce meteoroids. For example, the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter is thought to be the result of a collision between two larger bodies. Supernovae, the explosive death of a star can also produce meteoroids. The intense heat and pressure of the explosion can cause the outer layers of the star to be expelled into space, creating a cloud of dust and gas that can eventually form meteoroids. Interplanetary dust, interplanetary dust particles are tiny particles that are in space and are produced by various natural processes such as erosion of comets and collisions between asteroids. It's worth noting that some meteoroids come from the Moon, Mars or other bodies of the solar system, they are called meteorites. They were blasted off these bodies by impacts and they reached Earth. Let's talk about some of the most famous meteoroids. The Willamette Meteorite, which weighs over 15 tons, was discovered in Oregon, USA in 1902. It is the largest meteorite ever found in the United States and is made mostly of iron and nickel. It is currently on display at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. The Hova meteorite is the largest known meteorite ever found on Earth, weighing in at over 60 tons. It was discovered in Namibia, Africa in 1920 and is made mostly of iron. It is on display at the Hoba Meteorite Nature Reserve in Namibia. The Tunguska meteorite is famous for the damage it caused when it exploded over Siberia, Russia in 1908. Although it is believed to have been a relatively small meteorite, the explosion was equivalent to a nuclear bomb and flattened over 800 square miles of forest. The Allende meteorite, which was found in Chihuahua, Mexico in 1969, is one of the oldest known meteorites and is believed to be a remnant of the early solar system. It is made mostly of stone and is over 4.5 billion years old. The Campo del Cello meteorite was found in Argentina in 1576 and is made mostly of iron. It is one of the oldest known meteorites and is estimated to be 4,000 to 6,000 years old. How much these meteoroids cost in auction? As for the prices, meteorites can fetch quite high prices, especially if they are rare or have scientific value. The price of a meteorite can depend on several factors such as weight, size, rarity, and the type of meteorite it is. The price can range from a few dollars per gram for common meteorites to thousands or even millions of dollars for rare and scientifically significant specimens. Do we need to get worried for any potential planet killer meteorites? The likelihood of a single meteor being able to destroy the entire planet Earth is extremely low. The vast majority of meteoroids are small and burn up harmlessly in the Earth's atmosphere before they can reach the ground. The larger meteoroids that do make it to the surface are not typically large enough to cause global destruction. 
However, it's worth noting that if a meteoroid is large enough and has sufficient kinetic energy, it could cause a significant amount of damage if it were to impact the Earth. For example, a meteoroid that is big enough could cause a massive explosion, a massive shockwave, a large crater, and a significant amount of debris thrown into the atmosphere, which could cause a global catastrophe. The most famous example of this is the impact event that occurred 65 million years ago, in what is now Mexico, which is thought to have caused the mass extinction of the dinosaurs, it was caused by a meteoroid estimated to have been about 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter. It's important to note that such events are extremely rare, and the chances of a catastrophic collision with an asteroid or comet is relatively low. Space agencies around the world are actively working to detect and track these objects, and to develop plans to deflect or disrupt them if necessary, in order to prevent any potential impact. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Tech Nation. We hope you enjoyed our journey through the world of meteoroids. From their origins in the depths of space to the potential dangers they pose to our planet. We hope you learned something new and that you're now as fascinated by these mysterious celestial bodies as we are. Remember, these space rocks hold a key to understanding our solar system and the origins of life on Earth. And as we've shown you, we're still discovering new facts about them. But that's not all, we promised you some groundbreaking details and we delivered. We hope you found the information about the potential impact of a meteoroid collision and the efforts being made to protect our planet as eye-opening as we did. We want to thank you for tuning in and for your continued support of Tech Nation. Don't forget to tune in next time for more exciting and informative episodes. Remember, the truth is out there and we'll continue to bring it to you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world around you.